My name is Eddie Sparks, Muscle Beach Marketing, and today is your man minute. And today we are coming to you from Basseterre, St. Kitts. I'm sure I just slaughtered that, but it is in French. Now, this is a country, another country, and it's number 63 for me. Still alive. So today we're going to talk about dealing with idiots and the pursuit of peace. You know, peace is funny because. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't hit peace even on this trip until I was probably, uh, I don't know, I, I would say Dominica, I would say two countries ago. I've been on the road for a long time, but I didn't find some real peace until I had been finished with dealing with idiots. So dealing with idiots, man, that's going to happen to you all the time. But sometimes the idiots just come and come and come and come, in my industry especially because I deal with a lot of technical crap on the internet, so, and a lot of technical crap for production, so people don't know what they're talking about, or they get frustrated over stuff that they don't even know, or I'm always right, but I can't convince anybody of that. So um, what I do is, is I try not to respond. I know that sounds silly, but I just try not to respond, and I don't think that you should either. I just put it off. In some instances, I tell you, deal with it now. If they walk in your office, you deal with it now. There's no way that you can't deal with it now. You have to deal with it now. Secondly, correspondence-wise, if idiots are just emailing you all day, it's hard to tell tone and it's hard to sell somebody on a certain issue if you're emailing them. You'll have to call them to finish your, 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 your interactions with idiots. Interactions with idiots don't finish itself unless you talk to the idiot and calm them down. So when people go dark on you, it's just another idiot you can't deal with. And it's hard to get pursuit of peace until you're over with idiots. So sometimes you just have to put yourself some distance and not deal with it. That's what I like to do. But at least a day or two and just let it all just come out of your system in a different way. Um, I don't know. I've been walking around here. This place has been pretty much battered up by the hurricane, but ain't none of my business. So anyway, if any of that makes sense... In pursuit of peace, when I say peace, I mean I just don't have to think about nothing. I got nothing going on, right? And I think that that's what you need to get to, to where it's like, ah, oh, you got to, I, I remember in Los Olas, I was trying to teach you how to delegate. Um, if you go back, if you're watching this video, go back and watch the the one where I'm in Fort Lauderdale. It's like a hundred and something in the in the early hundreds. Go back and, and listen to me teaching you how to delegate to somebody else. That's the only way you're going to get peace. Because then they can deal with the idiots. Okay? And they can deal with dum dums. Alright? And the, there's power in the number two. Because they can say, well, Eddie said to do this. Or Spark said to do this. And that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, I'm just telling you because Spark said to tell you to do this. All right, so that is another way to get your number two to deal with it. Also, back in principles, if you're number one, you're trying to deal with it by yourself, it's you always blame it on time. I don't have time. I'd like to squash this now. What is the problem? What do you need that is so important? You know, I'm on my only 15-hour relaxation period, and I'd like to deal with you right now so I can continue to relax and not have to think about anything. What should I do? What do you think the re resolution of the problem is? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you have to deal with the idiots on the phone. Don't deal with them by email. Anyway, my name is Eddie Sparks from uh, Benetary, uh, St. Kitts, and uh, Nevis. And uh, I'll see you later. I'm going to go walk down the road here and probably jump in one of these uh, watering holes myself. So you have a good day to go sell something. Learn something. Good Lord. This is your Man Minute.